What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be checking out this boat buckle winch strap with latch lock technology. And what that means is, instead of having one of those flimsy guards that go against the hook on a normal winch strap that sometimes can break, or if you kind of put pressure on them the wrong way, that'll bend out of the way and be kind of useless. This one, let me loosen it and show you right here, has their latch lock technology. So you'll see I'll push in on the side. It releases the hook and then to attach it you just push up on where you want to attach it to and it clicks right into place let's check it out this is exactly what i was talking about you see that the guard on this one's kind of bent out of the way it's at an angle it's not going to really help you want much like you need to you can see it kind of you have to push it to go right there to the center like that otherwise it just rests kind of off to the side so there must have been some some kind of weight pushed on it and bent it out like that you're not going to have that issue with the latch lock because it's all self-contained and it's pretty heavy duty. I mean, you can see that it's all one complete thing and to unlatch it, I just push on this. And that's a pretty solid hook. I mean, that's pretty thick there. And this isn't gonna bend out of the way if there's any pressure put on that. So it's just one of those things you don't have to worry about. And it's easy to click it in there to replace it. You just push it back and it snaps right into place. And that's just peace of mind right there, just pushing on it and watching that latch come over. And you're like, oh, okay, this is gonna come off no matter how much I pull on whatever angle I pull on, it's not gonna bend anything out of the way and then come off on me. The hook itself is made out of stamped steel and the outside has a plastic coating. Now the plastic coating is not anything structural, it's just covering up the outside of the hook. The main part of it is all stamped steel, like I said, so it's gonna hold up to those elements. Let's put it in place and we can talk about the winch strap itself. With it locked in, let's get it a little tight. You can see it's made out of a seatbelt like material. You got the extra stitching up here. This is an extra stress area where the two parts of it are put together. So you definitely want to make sure that stays. And with all that stitching in there, it's not going to go anywhere. The strap is two inches by 20 feet long. And it also has a Safe working load limit of 1,333 pounds. And then it has a breaking point of 4,000 pounds. So just kind of stay by that 1,333 and you should be just fine. On the other end of the strap is the loop. And that's what's gonna attach it to the winch in here. So when you're replacing your strap, remember to keep that hardware because it's not included with this one. So you use the existing hardware they already have, put it right back in there and get it installed. It's not that hard to do. It didn't take us that long, follow along. First thing we're gonna do is remove the old strap. So I've already got this taken apart on our winch. I'll just reach in there, pull this through, remove this, set it aside, because we're gonna need this for our, our new winch strap. Pull this one back out and set it aside. So now I'll take our new one, unroll it. and run through the center. That can be a little tough because the winch strap is new, so it's kind of stiff. But usually if you can get one corner in there, it's real easy just to pull it on through. There we go. Like I said, I just started to work one corner through the middle there, and once you get that one corner through, you can pull it through real easily. So I don't need that much of it. I'm gonna put this back through that loop and pull it back down. And that's gonna keep it from coming back through the center there. And I can start turning this up. With it mostly wound up, we're gonna attach our hook. It's really easy, you just push up against the eyelet and it attaches itself. Now we'll get a little bit more out of there. That way it pulls it nice and tight. There we go. Now there's some nice tension on there and your boat's not gonna go anywhere either. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace the cover. Slide into place, add our screws up front. Then that pretty much does it. It was a really easy installation. So that's how easy it is to re replace your strap on there. And then now you have a nice hook 
that you just push on, it locks into place. You don't have to worry about that guard that can get bent or twisted and kind of become useless. That won't happen with this, so you're set to go. Well, thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.